Well, hello all of my friends on the internet there, and hello to our subscribers as well. Jeff here, I'm reporting to you live from Home Depot here in Coconut Creek, Florida. And we got a busy agenda tonight here. So tonight we're going to be talking to you about these discounts. And let me show you this here. So we got like one after another after another. They all seem to be on sale here tonight. So I got some great bathroom remodeling ideas here for you because I install a lot of toilets in all of the projects that I work on and all of my foreclosure properties that I buy. And what I'm really ecstatic about tonight, and I feel like Norm from Cheers when he got that job working at the at the beer uh, beer company went and he hugged the uh, the vat. But anyway, so they got this one here, the Champion Max White Elongated. So this one is normally $239. And every time I've come in here, I've always had to pay $239 for it. So they got it marked down now to $199. That's massive savings. That's like a $40 savings. This is my favorite toilet of all of them in here. I've installed this one so many times. Betty, Betty, you're going on a cruise tomorrow. All right. Hey, what better way to prepare for a cruise than to check out a Home Depot video? <laughs> yeah, man. Jeff, do you like Home Depot or do you like specialty stores better? I like whoever has whatever I'm looking for at the best price. That's pretty much uh, the way I do it. Um, and in this case here, right now, if I was to buy this one, I usually put like two of these in in every one of my projects. And in fact, I put one of these in about a month ago in a friend's townhouse. I do this one so many times I can do it in my sleep. This one is the Champion 4 Max, and what we like about this one is it's engineered to prevent clogs. So this is the one that you can flush a bucket of golf balls down it, and it will still work. I love this toilet. It has a really quick flush. It's just like, whoosh, it's instantaneous. Have you went to Disneyland? I've been to Disney World, not Disneyland myself. Um, but this is the toilet. This is the one I like. When you're buying toilets, if you guys haven't bought a toilet in a while, Make sure you buy the one that says E, E for elongated. You want the longer oval shape. You do not want the short round one. Okay, so uh, let me see, that's elongated. I was trying to find one that was round up here. Mostly up on the displays, they have the elongated. So you gotta be really careful because a lot of times whatever toilet you're looking at comes in both elongated and round and you wanna make sure you're, you're not buying the wrong one. So luckily here on these, they've got mostly the, the elongateds down. But see, here's one here that's round. See that right there? So the, And then right next to it is a cell here that's got elongated. Okay. So make sure that you're buying the right one. I do not recommend you ever buying a round one, even if you have small kids, because uh, they'll grow pretty quickly. And just remember, that's a guest bathroom that other people, including adults, might be using, and it's just so much better to have the elongated so anything anyway what's good about these newer toilets like the well this one's been around a few years i've been using this champion 4 max for about five years now i've probably installed it a couple of dozen times already and so uh, like i mentioned earlier i've always been paying uh uh 34 uh, what was that 239 yeah about 40 dollars more and there was a comment that came by and i just missed it oh there we go thank you for your honest videos i appreciate the ones that you say i made a mistake and I'm here to fix it. The best, of course. Uh, you know, it keeps popping away. Oh, there we go. But you get the picture. Apprentice here. All right, David. Well, thanks for tuning in tonight. Um, so here, I wanted to show you that one first because that is our favorite toilet that we like to install here. And they do have another one here. This is the Cadet 3. I think we had installed one of these like six, seven years ago. But we moved up to the, the Champion 4. But this one is $129, so it's marked down from $149 there. And that also is the American Standard. Um, what I like about these is these are so quick and easy to install. And if you notice now, the way they do the, the, the toilets nowadays, they're taller and skinnier. So the water comes down with more force and it flushes quicker and easier. So just a little caveat, if you go to remodel and you have one of those like marble uh shelves in your bathroom there you may have to remove it uh, some people have to have to angle grind through it and cut it in half and remove it in order to fit the toilet um they have a couple of coolers here too 
So typically about $20, $30 off is what you're seeing on all of the, the different toilets here. Uh, so those are pretty good. And I wanted to show you guys something that's really cool too. Whenever I put in a new toilet, I always use one of these guys here. So when I get home, I'll put a link to it down in the description from Amazon too, in case you can't get it. Not all the stores have this, but this is called the green gasket. This replaces your wax ring. So if you like, if you made a mistake or a lot of times when we put a toilet in, it's in temporary for a week until we get back into the bathroom there to do more work and then it has to come back out again. But um, these allow you to reseat the toilet too, the Santa seal. The, it's called the the, uh, the toilet gasket, the waxless gasket. This is a really great thing to have. It's, it's a lot less messy. And we just love the heck out of those things there. All right, so we've covered uh, most of the, the decent toilets here. You can see they're practically all on sale. So if you think you're going to be doing any kind of remodeling anytime soon, I would make sure you get in here. And let me just remind you guys, in case you didn't know about that, Remember, I always tell you about this, that they will take here in Home Depot, they will accept a Lowe's 10% off coupon. So even the stuff that's on sale, I've walked up there to the register and use this, and they take another 10% off. In fact, I'm going to show you one of those items in a, in a couple of minutes that I got last week after uh, we did our live broadcast, and we got 10% off. So I wanted to show you something here about the uh, some of the shower heads are on sale. I was a little perplexed, okay, because I just bought, not that one, I'm going to come back to that in a second. We just bought last week for another uh, friend of ours that we were doing an install for. I've been using this in all of my properties, and I like it because it's normally, it's not too, too badly priced, but yet it looks really awesome. It's the Delta Intuition, and it's got the five sprayer uh, modes on it. But what's really um, cool about this is this is um, uh, this comes off the hand the, the the center piece, and so you can wash off your body and everything. But it looks so much better than most of the properties that people have been into when they come looking at our condos that we that we're remodeling and stuff. And so when they come in and they see this in there, this looks so much better than the garbage they've looked at up until this point. So spending just 70, 80 bucks makes a world of difference. But this was on sale last week. I paid 69 bucks for this. And I was just in the other Home Depot last night and it was still on the display in there for 69. So I don't know why this is more here, but they did reduce the price of this one. Um, I think this was either 59 or 69 before. It's a little bit smaller version. So here, let me show you side by side. It's a little bit smaller on the outer rim than the other one. And this one's only a four position. So that's why it's cheaper. And one warning I just wanted to give you guys, that, and this covers pretty much the whole gamut of all of these these bathroom shower head faucets here. And uh, if you are in the market to buy one of these, and if you haven't bought a new shower head in like the last 10 years, if you if you still have this really old, old one with the, the holes all around it, and, and that's all you have, you might be a little bit disappointed in the water pressure and I just wanted to let you in on that if you weren't aware of this but uh, federal law was mandated I think about 10 years ago that requires all shower heads now to have uh, I forget what they call it it's like a little limiter in there that 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 limits it to like 1.5 gallons a minute I, I forget the exact amount but it's a small amount so that results in when the water comes out it doesn't feel like it's as full pressure as your older shower head did that wasted water like you wouldn't believe. So part of the reason the government did that was because they want to limit uh, and cause us to conserve water because when you're standing there lathering up and you're and you're just wasting water. So that's why these are are, are limited now to about like 1.5 I think it is. So for the first week it might take you a few days to get a, to get used to the water pressure coming out of these things. It may seem like it's less and people have left bad comments and reviews on certain shower heads uh, here because they think oh this shower head sucked that one sucked but they don't realize that it, it's just less pressure um and not not necessarily less pressure it's less gallons per minute so the flow really isn't isn't as much as they used to be so i believe this is the one that delta came up with with that h2o kinetic i think that's the one where they somehow came up with a way to shape the droplets so that it, it still feels like it's coming at you at full force. So 
that was my little uh, lesson for you for faucet technology. Here's a Glacier Bay one here with a handheld shower and a shower head. So this one's $34 marked down from $39. New lower price. Let's take a look around the corner here. Okay, now this one cracks me up here. I'm going to show you a few here that are uh, marked down now. But stay away from plastic shower heads. Well, unfortunately, most of them are plastic uh, nowadays, Patrick. Yep. Um, here's, here's, this is what I think is so funny. Here you got this Delta on sale here. They go to all the trouble to build this whole display case here, this cardboard thing with a big, huge sign. And just to save seven bucks. We're going to Disney World on the savings, folks. I mean, that's ridiculous. I mean, I want a big one. I want a big mowing one or something that's going to save me a lot of money. Six bucks. They went through all that trouble. Uh, here's a mowing one here. This is a Genta Chrome. Let's see. So this is 109 and it's marked down from 129 So they're saving you 20 bucks on that one. Here's a, a Delta Portwood. This one's really sleek looking and modern. This is a, a brush nickel one. So he's 119 marked down from 133 So if you're going to be remodeling your bathroom, uh, these are these will give you some good ideas here. So sometimes I'll come in and I'll look for the ones that are like this. And remember, plus that using that Lowe's card that I just showed you would save you another 10% here. So here's one that's $79. Marked down from 92, another Delta Portwood. That's a four inch center here. And I don't know if they have that Mindori one that I always buy here, but I like that one. It's got the LED that comes on. So I think that was, oh wait, we got some more for the kitchen here that are marked down. Okay, so here's a Price Fister here. Um, or is it? No, that's the that's the Delta one, I believe. Let me see. Oh yeah, okay. So that's the Delta one there. So this one here is $109, marked down from 123. That's actually a pretty good price. Most of the ones I buy tend to be like this Delta. They tend to be in the 189, 199 uh, region. And I, I did on uh, two condos ago, and I think this was the one. So this is 214 here, and it's marked down to 199. What I like about this, if you look on these deltas, you look for that magnetite. That's really cool because it just, and they don't have it like hanging loosely enough, but it just snaps right back up. You don't have to keep fiddling with it or anything. That's that's what I like about those. Uh, so you'll see a lot of them on some of the delta ones, but they generally tend to be closer to the $200 range. But I tell you what, though, you you put something like this on the kitchen there and you'll be able to sell that puppy in no time that condo i always leave these on there so when the people walk in they know exactly what they're getting when i buy new appliances i leave all the yellow stickers and the blue film on it so people know they're getting a brand spanking new uh appliance all the appliances are new when they move in so here's another one that's about 20 dollars off so it looks like all of the faucets that they have that are on sale here today are about 20 dollars off here and so you you don't always see that, and then, and it always seems to be the time that I come in to buy one is when the one that I want to get is not on sale. <laughs> so these are looking pretty good here. I want to take you guys over and show you around the corner here. Man, by the way, they still got plenty of these patio sets. I showed you some of these on last week's broadcast here. But this is some of the pricing you're seeing here on these on these uh, here's a seven piece dining room set there so you're getting some massive savings some of these are almost yeah they are it's about half off 50 percent off and over here on the little sale table here they've got some tiles and stuff they usually put the boring ones out. although however this one looks pretty good Sometimes you can get a whole sheet like these, and I cut them in half and make a border around the bathroom when I'm tiling. I stay away from these weave, this woven pattern here, because I, I don't think there's a way to grout it, and I don't, I don't know what would happen if water hits it. So I don't know if it would get past it. But even then, if that's on sale, $14.98, that's still expensive, man. That's not a bargain to me. Okay, let me show you what is a bargain. And I bought one last week, 
and they <clears throat> they've got two left here so there were seven when i was in here the other day showing this one this is that dewalt's the, uh, the flex vault so i bought this kit in here last week so it has the the flex vault circular saw and the hammer drill and the tough case box for 349 and it comes with two batteries two six amp hour batteries and a charger all of that for 349 i mean you can't beat that if you go right now on the tool section the tool aisle this circular saw right now is 299 over there with a charger and a battery i believe so you pay 50 bucks more and you're getting a hammer drill with it and another battery and the tough case so there's there's two left in this store i was in the coral springs home depot last night and they didn't even have any over there all right and so i bought this one last week so it says 349 but i used the 10 percent off lowe's coupon and i got it for like 319 314 i think it was 319 so i got the steal of the century on this kit because remember in memorial day when we first showed you this kit it was 399 on the display there so that's all it was already a stellar price and i made it even much much more of a stellar price and this is another really good kit here too it's 169 marked down from 199 it's got a, uh, a hammer drill and a uh, impact driver and two batteries and a charger what i couldn't tell on this one though maybe some of you guys know by looking at those model numbers is if they are brushless or not because i always prefer to get the, the tools that are brushless <laughs> okay so oh, what else so they got a bunch of these ryobi kits here these are your little drill kits here this is a 34 piece here and it's marked down to 10 bucks from 13.97 so a lot of times you'll see things like this on the um on the discount tables here in the back and i wanted to show you this too a lot of people are unaware of this but home depot has a lot of these things called what we call oops paint where somebody mixed the wrong color or didn't like the color and they'll usually have this stacked up over near the paint desk so you'll you'll want to go and look over there and see if there's a color you want so one time i was painting a storage room at one of my condos and i got a, a gallon of paint for like eight bucks it's a nice dark green floor paint for eight dollars okay so i want to take you over to this other aisle here where i wanted to show you some of the the latest in the outdoor tools so what we have right here is this new thing here from ego and what they got right here is they got this is a power inverter it's 99 bucks here so you put your battery on it and it'll give you 120 volts out this is good to have if you're like too far away from an electrical outlet or maybe you're working out in a big yard and you don't have enough extension cords okay and for 199 here they have their cordless blower which they say has 530 cfm and i'm not sure if they're showing miles per hour and it's brushless motor which is good and it runs up to 75 minutes I mean that's huge i have a little ryobi one that off the 18 volt one and i think it runs like 10 minutes with the biggest battery that i can put on there and um they're not i don't see the nexus box here they're showing it up here on the display here but uh so the nexus box is basically a big power center however it doesn't appear to play audio which would make sense it should be something that does audio as well um, and it looks suspiciously like my Bosch. It has that same kind of frame and everything on it. Wanted to show you, and I hope it's down this aisle. Yeah, it's right here. So here's the pressure washers here. And this is really cool because we don't, we haven't really seen these here before. Um, the, if you look at this Ryobi here, this is a Ryobi power washer. Now, I know there's a lot of guys out there that, that don't like Ryobi. They think Ryobi's trash or whatever. They think they're very good tools. But with this thing here, there's one thing that changes everything. Do you see the one word that I see there on that box that changes everything? The one word that I see here that changes everything here is that word Honda. That's a Honda engine on this Ryobi power washer. And that to me is incredible because uh, I have a Honda mower and I have like the highest end Honda mower. They don't even sell it here. I had to special order it. 
I got so sick of two previous lawnmowers I had that had Briggs and Stratton engines on it, and those things are a pain. They don't start. I don't understand. They just, like, right out of the box. They never work right. I always called them Briggs and Struggling. So anytime I can get something with a Honda engine, I'm all over it. Now, the 3100 PSI is... That's about as low as I'd ever want to go in two and a half gallons per minute. Because I've seen guys bring in their power washers that are 2,500 and they don't do the job on the sidewalks and stuff like that. You really need 3,000 or above. And if you can get above 3,500, that's even better. But heck, for this price here, this is a new lower price. It's only 20 bucks off. But still, for 379 to walk out of here with a Honda engine, <clears throat> that's, that's saying something. Because if you look at the DeWalt version, uh <clears throat> is this the higher end one or let me see oh, yeah. yeah this is the more expensive one. the dewalt one is 1049 so it's you know you're talking 700 dollars difference even though it's a much more professional uh bigger bigger machine here and this one i think it does over four thousand let me see what it does here yeah so this one's 4400 psi that's a in four gallons a minute so that will really kick butt on just about any anything you have and what I like about this is you can get this with it and see usually I uh, we we own something like this but it's got the handles on it you know it's 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 like a nine hundred dollar apparatus but this is good this is we call this the whirly bird they just call it a pressure washer surface cleaner but what this does is it's, it's usually about 21 inches in diameter and it spins around at a high rate of speed and it does huge swaths of the of the sidewalk at a time and i crack up when i go to a, a commercial building or a 7-eleven and i'll see that they got some handyman guy out there who's cleaning the sidewalk with a freaking wand the guy's using this okay it's just stupid when i see people do that i just you know i want to cringe I, I feel so bad for them I'm like what do you, do you not have enough common sense to know to get this thing these clean the the the, uh, the sidewalk much better. These leave lines all over the sidewalk like a paintbrush. It's terrible, absolutely terrible. So that's why you want to get these and hook up a quick change on it so that you can change them out on the fly. So these are good for when you're doing like the curbs and stuff in the areas that you can't get to with this guy. But this guy, use it all the time on the sidewalks and um, in the wider areas here. So this one's 99 bucks. What's odd about this is it says it only goes up to 3,400 PSI. So even though, does that mean you can't use it on this one or can you control the flow of that one? DeWalt does have a smaller one that goes to 3,400 PSI. That's only 629. So that to me is probably a good compromise. But if you're gonna be doing professional work with that, that's probably the one you wanna get here. And of course they got all the hose accessories and, and stuff stuff here with it and like this extension here and you can get different bits here to go on the end there on your tips so so and then Ry Ryobi also makes a much smaller one but I wouldn't I would not recommend using it is a brushless though brushless motor that's electric so this one runs off batteries I I'm just skeptical so maybe if some of you have seen or use this they let us know in the comments but I'm skeptical with that low PSI and that one that low gallon per minute. I'm I'm not having a good feeling about that that that's going to have any kind of cleaning ability. So if you were going to buy one to do your house, I wouldn't get that those lower end ones. I would get the more expensive ones because in in pressure washers, man, you do get what you pay for for sure. You absolutely get what you pay for with those things there. All right, so now I want to show you this apparatus that they got here a couple of months ago in this Home Depot. And maybe you have them in your Home Depot as well. But you see that orange thing over there, those orange lockers? These are pickup lockers here. These are really cool. These are, if you make an online order, Oh, wait, wait, David says 2.5 gallons per minute, my bad. Yeah, 2.5 isn't too bad. That and the combination of the, the PSI is really what what uh, works on those things. So when you order something on the internet, if it's small enough, you can just come right here to these lockers and pick them up. 
and they they have them all ready for you in there so you don't have to wait in line which is really good <clears throat> let's see what we got here so we have uh this is the loctite super glue here so this is 488 which they say is a 12 dollars value here now i've never tried this one but i gotta tell you i love their pl adhesive it is the best on the market and i use it for all my construction adhesive whenever i'm putting drywall ceilings up onto the uh floor joists above the ceiling joists and screw them up into that i always apply the pl adhesive first and you can go on, on the internet and find on uh, youtube and you can find where where some of these guys have done tests using uh you know engineering machines and shearing tests and all that and the pl the pl adhesive the 3x and the 8x have both uh they were way above all of the others including liquid nails that's a very popular one that a lot of people swear by but the pl was much 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 better and we're coming up over here you know the store is starting to empty out same with the coral springs one the coral springs one last yeah. night this whole row up here this whole front aisle was all empty so i wonder if they're getting ready for labor day is there going to be any kind of labor day special sales going on or not that's what i'm wondering so let's take a look over here oh and you know what else i forgot to tell you when you buy a new shower head you got to buy one of these the new shower arm because they don't come with it in the package, which is really stupid. Oh, it's so aggravating. And sometimes I forget, too. I, even I forget. I do them all the time, and I still forget. But, yeah, you got to make sure you get one of these. Because, like, if you're replacing an old one that's chrome, and I bought a brushed nickel one, well, you got to make sure you get one here that says brushed nickel. See? Right there. Brushed nickel. So that's one thing to remember. And <clears throat> now let me let me point this out to you, too. When you're remodeling you see these threads on both ends of this arm you have to put teflon tape on both of those ends on both ends not just one end both ends especially the end that goes into the wall and screws into that little receptacle there on the end of the copper pipe the riser pipe otherwise you'll get leaks inside your wall so the one i pulled out of the wall tonight wasn't taped they, they had no teflon tape on it so it was a mother to get out. I mean, I had to really use a lot of elbow grease to get that puppy out the door. Um, and that's why, because they didn't have any Teflon tape also. But the Teflon tape is really there to, to seal it. Now, so here's a couple of last minute um, deals that they've got here from Milwaukee. This one here, this kit was $549. So this thing's already 100 bucks off, dudes. I mean, what an incredible deal here for an M18 fuel. So if you're looking to get started, and it comes with their pack out kit too, so just this thing on the wheels, I think, I forget the price on it, I think it's like 80 bucks normally. So um, if you had bought this a couple of months ago, you would have paid 549. So get it for 449, use that Lowe's coupon that I told you guys about, that, that lovely blue Lowe's coupon, and they'll honor it here and they'll take another 10% off here for you. You are welcome, America, on that one. All right, if I saved you guys any money, you know, we have that super chat thing off to the right there with the dollar sign. And you can donate anytime you want. Um, we do. We spend a lot of money and a lot of time buying up a lot of tools and doing reviews and parts and stuff like that. And it does cost a huge amount of money. Uh, these were here over the summer. They, I think they're still just kind of winding down. But they did lower the price on these kits here. These other M18. Uh, turn them around here. These M18 fuel kits here. So you got an impact driver, uh, impact driver here, and you got a hammer drill here, and it includes a pack out toolbox with that as well. So this is uh, really nice. But and they've marked it down again, just like they did the Dewalt kit, another 50 bucks from 3.99 down to 3.49. So it's probably not going to go any lower because once these disappear, that's it, they're gone. So if I was you guys, and, and there's actually there's three left, come in and get it now. This rolling table, I don't see a price on it, but at Father's Day, I was salivating, man. I was foaming at the mouth because this table here was like $6.49. It was 100 bucks off, this rolling cart, and it was so gorgeous. The only thing is I just don't have room in my garage. It would probably take me about a month of work to make room for it. 
So, let's see what else we have down here. So coming up here, so we have a new lower price on uh, the DeWalt 2 amp hour batteries. Now some people might say, oh come on, 2 amp hour, I don't like it, but you know what? My brushless impact driver, this size battery is one is what I have on it. Um, and it lasts like forever on there. I've had it on there for like three weeks and still haven't had to charge it yet. So, but it's lighter. That's the cool thing about these, it's lighter. So they finally got around in this store to putting up the whole display for the Atomics here. So here's the deal they got here on the Atomics here. So you have the big kit up here that's $179 here. And it includes, I don't know if that's, yeah, it's the brushless hammer drill. And it looks like two batteries and the, the um, charger and the bag. So that's $179. And they have another one here for the impact driver. This is a drill driver, rather. So this is 159. And if you want to get the kit that has the two of them for 229, you have here. Uh, I think it probably comes with both the batteries and the charger there on that one here. So here's the deal. Here's what they're giving you on this one here. And this is good until November. It started last week. And so get, if you buy any one of these, any one of these kits here, like the ones I just showed you, or if you buy um, the compact circular saw, and man, I love that thing. I'll show you that in a second. And, or if you buy the oscillating tool, they'll give you a battery free here. But here is the compact circular saw. So this is cool. So if you ever need something that's a little bit smaller than your seven inch, this is a four and a half inch circular saw right here. So this is a new product from them, part of the Atomic line. So the Atomic is basically their compact series, you know, and uh, lighter. And it's, I, be I believe all of them are exclusive only to Home Depot here. So I don't think you'll ever see these at, at Lowe's. That's my guess. And there's an empty tough system. So if you've never seen inside, let me see, do they have it open? I think, oh, well, they do, see? So if you've never seen inside the, the tough system here, you got a couple of thin parts trays up top there and a couple of bins there. It still doesn't look like there's a whole lot of room if you wanted to put many hand tools. You might be able to fit some screwdrivers and, and a couple of bit boxes, but that's that one and i'm more of a kit person so i tend to like stuff to come i'm not as fan of, i'm much of a fan of the bag as i am the the plastic cases with these things here too all right and the the other one we have here from husky so here's a new exclusive we have from husky this is a huge piece uh kit here this is 125 piece and it's got the pro access ratchets so these are, are really nice. And I like how they've got, the numbers are pretty big printed on the side of the socket there. And you got a number of extenders here that are pretty nice extensions here. And so here's what the kit looks like. If you buy the whole, it all fits in this little plastic case right here. All 125 pieces there. So these are quarter inch drive and a three inch inch drive. Um, it would be nice if they had the half inch drive in there as well. That's probably my next kit will have all three of those. Because once in a while, <clears throat> you do have that need to do the, uh, the half inch drive. And then they got this kit here too. So this is marked down $10. It's a, it's a 22 inch connect rolling system here. And was that whole thing really 69 bucks? It looks like it. it with the rolling cart. The toolbox in the middle and then the small parts organizer up top like holy cow i mean that's a real good deal because over here like i just bought not too long ago this dewalt one right here this guy uh was like 60 some odd bucks when i bought it it's 49 now but i used a 10 percent off coupon anyway when i bought it this is a pretty good price to get the the dewalt one i like this one here see because 
Let's see if they'll let us open this one. Sometimes they have them roped off and you can't. Yeah, so this is good. See, this is deeper. This is why I like this better than the, the little flat one there. Because that's nice and deep and I put all my, my drills and stuff at the bottom. And then you can... I don't think this one goes down. So I usually have my tray on the top where I can put some hand tools and some bits and stuff. But I like the DeWalt one here. This is a really good one because it, it's on wheels here. And these are, you can't do it with one hand though. But this telescopic comes up like this, the handle. So that's a pretty good price here. And they got this other rolling DeWalt one here too. This is the, the Pro Gear cart. So this is longer. So this will hold like longer tools and stuff. That's pretty nice. I like this one here. So I think we've pretty much covered everything we were going to cover tonight. Um, where am I going to... I'm going to be doing BJ's probably tomorrow or Monday. And um, if you didn't see our Costco one last night, you got to go see that one. Because in Costco right now, when I was in there last night, they had all sorts of ring doorbell stuff on sale. Just came in last week. Like massive, massively discounted, and they had like their whole network, the the doorbell two, the Ring doorbell Pro. They had a bunch of laptops in there that were two or three hundred dollars off. So you definitely want to go check that video out there. And I think with that, we're going to hang it up for tonight. And thank you all for tuning in tonight. And I know it was pretty lengthy here tonight, but man, we covered a lot of great deals here tonight at Home Depot. And we will see you folks on the flip side. Y'all have a great night. Bye now.